happy Tuesday. Welcome to the Medium Rachel Vanek Show on AONR, Psychic Radio, and Moonstrike TV. You can also find me on Facebook at Medium Rachel Vanek, or you can contact me directly at 712-545-0444. I had to remember, did I say my numbers correctly? You would think I would have them memorized by now, right? But yeah, that's, that is the correct number. Today has been quite the day. Um, <laughs> I got in here today and I had my power go out. It turns out it was because I had too many heaters hooked up and I tripped the breaker. Um, so I was thinking I wouldn't be here today. Um, and I hate canceling on people, but we got it back up and going just in the nick of time. Uh, my landlord walked in right when I was about ready to push the final cancel button, but nope, got it up and going. And so we had a nice chat for a minute and back up and going. Um, and one thing that they had mentioned is that it kind of seems like life in general right now for these past couple of months has been kind of a busy wild ride. And I would have to agree with that. I feel like the majority of people right now, it's there's been one big obstacle that they've had to come overcome one after another. So I suppose I see that as all of our souls are like on a fast track <laughs> to learning and taking care of ourselves and getting stuff done. Um, pay attention to some of the synchronicities um, that the world is giving you. I've noticed that what you put out to the universe is you will get it. What it is you want, your your goals. Um, and it's all about having patience, paying attention to the small things that happen every day, uh, even your little interactions that you might think are minuscule, small, um, but it's all just one step after another. And when you start paying attention to those synchronicities in your day-to-day -day life, you'll start noticing what they call angel numbers or repeating numbers like 111, 4, or 8888. Um, I like seeing that 888 number because that usually, from my understanding, means that you have um, some income coming your way. Um, 555, when I see those repeating numbers, and it's my understanding that there is positive change coming your way. The 1111 um, is a divine timing. So if you see that number, pay attention to what your thoughts were at that moment. Um, it's the universe sending you some signs of keep going. We got you. And oh, and I believe that Karen is on. Hi, Karen. Hi, Rachel. Can you hear me okay? I can. I just have to move my mouth weird. <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing great. It's sunny and pretty here today. Oh, good, good. We have we have sun as well. It's cold, but by golly, it's sunny. <laughs> I haven't been out, so I don't know if it's cold or not. <laughs> That's okay. Stay stay inside where it's warm. <laughs> Hi. Right. So one thing I always like to say before before starting a reading is. I cannot always guarantee who comes through. Um, I, I don't. I don't get a say in the matter. Um, spirit gets to pick, <laughs> so to speak, and it could be an immediate loved one, or it could be somebody, um, and maybe a distant old friend, or your next door neighbor's deceased grandmother, and you happen to catch them in conversation where they mention them, and it's. And that's how the connections are made. And some things might make sense right away, or it could take some time. Um, spirit has a funny way of working sometimes. So sometimes I hear, um, get a sense of their personality and a feeling, um, sometimes smell, um, taste, or sometimes they show me um, like what they what they would have looked like here on here on Earth. So every time is a little bit different. <laughs> so <clears throat> kind of starting off the bat here, um, I just try. I always try and wait to connect until like I'm sitting with the person, right? Such as you and I being on the call now. Um, 
But then there's times that souls are wanting in quicker and they start giving so much information so fast. So I'm just going to kind of lay out what kind of happened um, when I started thinking about you. Um, I had gotten this like headache, not like you give me a headache, but like this though, like there's <laughs> like the pressure in my head. And then, okay. and then my, my power goes out here and then I'm just kind of feeling like a little bit all over the place. Like, which my power went out here because I tripped a circuit breaker. Right. Uh, but then something told me maybe it all comes maybe a little bit more full circle. Um, so the feeling associated with that was that this might be something that you experience quite frequently around yourself, whether it be your lights flickering at a time of day or your electronics go a little wonky, such as that's like souls connecting with you in that moment. Would that resonate? Mm, no, I haven't noticed any lights flickering. I don't know. Have I always have a lot of lights on? Um, okay. Yeah. You okay. can have a street light go out every day when I went to work. It was weird. Did you? Yeah. Okay, because I, I have written down here light flickering, and the, somebody's wanting me to point that out. <laughs> point out light okay. flickering. So if you notice, maybe I'll have to pay attention. <laughs> okay. Um, and then as I was sitting here connecting and still trying to see what's coming through now, I had an older woman. Um, she doesn't look, she doesn't look very older though. She's had a nice, um, complexion, um, almost like a white hair, almost blondish, um, as in. Oh, I don't know how to explain that. Um, like her hair color was fading, um, but it wasn't like straight gray. It was like this nice, like with blonde undertones to it. Um, and she comes and sits by me at the table and she feels as though she would have, she was a, she's a communicator for another young female. Um, but this woman feels, um, like a mothering figure um, and she would sit and talk with you. Like she would be a facilitator. She's repeating facilitator. Um, oh. So there was three that came in. So then, so now connecting with her, my heart feels like it's beating a little bit quicker than normal. Um, as in she would have had troubles related to our heart. Is this woman resonating? Mm, no. <laughs> okay. No, that's okay. Um, not yet. It could down the road. I, I, I just trying to think of, uh, someone with blonder undertones. And that's how it's looking. Um, and it's we'll no like heart it. thing. Okay. Okay, I can't hear you. Oh, no, sorry. Um, it was hair that shaped her face. Like it would have been set and curled around her face. Is how she's hey. showing. Um, that's okay. Um, we can, we'll set her aside for a second. Um, okay. But then I had, I had heard a young female voice. I did not see this female or anything. I just heard a young female voice saying, she had me when she was very young. And then she goes on to say, nearing Valentine's Day is when she thinks of me the most. And she's just showing herself in <clears throat> like, like energy form. Um, she's not showing me a physical body or anything else. I just hear her words and feel her presence. Okay. Would that resonate? Um, uh, no, <laughs> sorry. No. Okay. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I'll keep. I'll go with her a little bit more for a second. Um, she feels as though an energy okay. that um, 
would not have necessarily made it into this earth. And if she, or if she did, okay. um, she did not live very long. I lost a baby, um, but I wasn't very young. I was 28, um, but I did lose a child, uh, stillborn, full term. So maybe it's her. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. I would consider 28 young. That's... Oh, okay. Valentine's Day, I, I don't know that there, maybe that's what she was confused. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she was, yeah. So okay. That could have been it. I didn't know that, but maybe that's it. Okay. But that, that is what she said. And she's and just in her. Okay. Yeah. I think about her a lot, though. Okay, and maybe and maybe she's bringing up Valentine's Day because that, I don't know, you know, the day of love. Like, maybe she's like, there is lots right, of love. Right, right. Um, yes, yes. I am sorry for your loss. She does have a very beautiful soul. And then there was um, a male that came in um, briefly for a moment. And he came in on my left side um, and he was, he was like a big, strong man. Like I'm trying to find words to describe. Um, anyway, this big, strong man, and he comes in and he like puts his arm oh, like around your arm. And he's like, Hey there champ. I'm um, like, he had a nickname for you. Hmm. Would he resonate? Um, not the name Champ. Um, they had a nickname. That was my father. Okay. Um, I mean, I was, he, he really wasn't, but you know, I was young, but you know, he was right. always big in my eyes. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, we, uh, we're about ready to get disconnected here. Uh, Karen, thank you so much for coming on and letting me connect and Thank you so much. Okay, Rachel. Thank you. Yes, enjoy your day. You too. Okay, bye.